I think at the end of the, of the day, none of us, whether we are reporters, whether we are editors, is free from the law. We are not above the law. If there is any question that we need to know, we have to find out exactly so what happened. Let me let no, 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 no. Okay. You, you have put on the question, so you have to wait for my answer. That's what freedom is all about, the responsibility. You know, that's, I think it's important. I think uh, let us not defy the law. Lah. Hmm? We, we act in accordance to what uh, we believe. Ahmad Ismail, if you talk about Ahmad Ismail, that too, Ahmad Ismail, because he's a party member, we have taken action as far as the party is concerned and suspended him for three years. So he has been punished in so far as the party is concerned because he's a party member. There is a mechanism, there is a vehicle for us to punish him. We have done that. At the same time, there is a report against Ahmad Ismail and we are investigating those reports. So I, th I don't think we are making politicians different. We have taken action. That, that politician has been punished for three years. He has been suspended for three years from the party. He lose all his, his position within the party. And at the same time, there is a report of sedition against him. So we are taking that action. But, but why do you need to arrest the senior reporter under ICA history? Why can't you just give her police protection if you fear for her mm. safety? Or why I think in whatever action that we do, was there will be there will be question. Do you find her a threat to national security? And, uh, I think uh, when the whole thing was started by her, it is best that we talk to her. If it is a threat, then she will be brought in under the section 73 for 60 days. She will be held. And <coughs> when we have questioned her, when we have done that, and we are satisfied with her answer, we just released her. So I, I don't think we are being uh, unfair or we have mistreated her in any way. That we have done... Well, what do you mean started by her, Dr. Sri? Hmm? You said started by her, the whole thing was started by her. What do you mean by that? No, I thought you were going to analyse, then I will be appearing before Defence Council, I will be cross-examined. Let, let me see that the report was made by her. That's why just now when I introduced the subject, I said we do not want hearsay uh, information. That information is from her, it was published. And when it was published, it is best that we get to the bottom by getting the information from her. And when it is related to the whole, in the whole context, when you look at it uh, holistically, it was in the context of the overall incident and subsequent follow-up that happened within uh, the, the debate, discussion, the polemic and the fear that had existed. So we brought her in and I think we are acting professionally. Then, after one day, we have released her. So I, I think that is a very... Good course of action, police. Your information and life was under threat, so you took her under the ISA because the life was under threat to protect her. Because it is part of uh, it is part of the public order and security issue, we brought her under ISA. The whole thing started with that, and but then. Why didn't the police just call her to come in and you know uh, the reporters tend to cooperate with the police? I think it's always in. difficult when it comes to the po the, the police when it comes to dealing with reporters. But I just want to let you know that all of us are subject to law. When the police feels that it is best to bring the person in under Internal Security Act, they have done so. And I think the most important thing is not to exercise unfairness, to do justice. When they find that there is, uh, they have got what they want, that there is no reason to hold her, that she's not a security threat, she is not disturbing public, or they release her immediately. So I think this is, uh, that's why it is not an exercise on the part of the minister to hold the person under Section 8, which is a two years straight away and the police feel that. Let them handle this thing and try to contain so, so it will avoid a possible so misunderstanding. Yang tiga ni yang arrest uh, detain under ISA, it wasn't you who gave the order but the police. The and this one is under, if you look at the ISA punya act, Section 73 memang police punya. But do you, as the minister, think it's justified? In this one, if I start to interfere okay. with the administration of enforcement, then it's difficult. I'm a minister, I'm a politician. If I start to interfere, then people say that I have a political motive. I cannot interfere with the political yes. motive. This has to be done <coughs> in accordance to the police exercise of their powers. Doctor, will there be more arrests to come? People are fearing that this is a mini operasi lalang. Here, here. Uh, you let me know if there is. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. No, no you, you shouldn't ask me because I, uh, this, this question of whether there will be other arrests. We have done the arrests, 
So far, there is no other areas that is being You are trying to stop the Anwar from taking part of a crackdown. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me answer. Eh? Just hold on. Eh? Let me answer. I think if you look at the whole thing, since all of you are, uh, understand the situation, if you look at the whole thing, there is no logic at all for it to be related to the September 16th. September 16th is a political move. They have sent people to Taiwan, and if they are successful, they can replace the government, substitute the government, extra parliamentary. Then they can they go ahead. It has nothing to do with with the current era. Current era has to do with public order. What is perceived as public order being in jeopardy, security being threatened, and you may have a different view, a different opinion. But we do get information from the members of the public who fear, who feels unsafe. So we have to take the preventive measures. And I always believe that when it comes to police exercise of their duty, I do not interfere with the routine exercise of their duty because that is the right thing. I'm a politician, I'm a minister. If I interfere if, with all in enforcement matters, then it will send a wrong signal that I have got a political reason. Will, will, will the country, I mean, I mean like, will we declare an emergency if the situation doesn't improve? No, I don't think so. Because we have taken all sorts of precautionary measures, we have taken all sorts of preventive measures. I do not see at present that there should be an emergency situation. And be rest assured that the country is uh, well <coughs> under control and we hope that there will be no incidents. Let, let us as Malaysians look forward that this is Malaysia. All of us share the same responsibility eh, to Malaysians. We share the same responsibility of creating harmony and tolerance no matter uh, what uh, point of view that you may have. But we all, at the end of it, must take our actions with responsibility or omissions that we do because we have got a bigger interest to protect. Uh, Dr. Sri, what, is, what mm. is the outcome? You said that um, if because members of the public have, have come forward saying that they <coughs> fear for their safety and that's why these three were brought under uh, were brought under ISA. What if members of the public said they were they under threat because of statements made by you see, this, this is the very question that I like to hear from you. Eh? At present, everything that we are doing, we are looking at it from ethnic angle. Khertoyo, you know, Eres Khertoyo is a Malay. Ahmad Ismail is a Malay. We arrest Chinese, we arrest you should not we should start to think as ourselves as Malaysians. Yeah, anybody, it doesn't matter who. Even me, if I'm considered as a threat, the police is is uh, they are free to take action against me. That should be the way that we look for. We must try to de-racialize our perceptions about things. Look at it as the interests of Malaysia. That's all. Okay, thank you very much.